Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Disney Universe here on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and if you remember in the last episode, I was kind of dreading the fact that we were going to have to play Pirates of the Caribbean. It's not that I dislike those movies, it's just, they're definitely not, it's probably my least favorite of all the worlds you can play through, and what fun is that playing through one that's uninteresting, and I feel like the game even the game developers even knew that, which is why they made it the first level. Because I feel like if it was one you had to pay to unlock, you just wouldn't unlock it and be the last one you get to, if even at all. Which sucks, because game developers try really hard to make you guys a good game, and when I'm sure whoever worked on that level was really proud of it, and, you know, it would be unfortunate that someone didn't play it just because, you know, like, that it didn't get played just because you had to pay to unlock it or something. So... While we might play it down the road if we run out of levels, I'm just not going to play it right now. So in the commercial break that I took, I got enough coins to unlock Aladdin. So we're going to play Aladdin. And uh, this is how, how worlds normally look. It's Each world is three levels, but then broken into three separate stages. So whereas Phineas and Ferb was just the one stage of the cul-de-sac... This one has the Cave of Wonders, and then you move to the streets of Agrabah, and then you go to the palace. So, let's start in the Cave of Wonders. And, uh, since we are playing Aladdin, I will pick the only Aladdin character that's unlocked, and that's Princess Jasmine. Oop. There we go. So anyways, guys, I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you're relaxing. I hope school went well. I hope work went well, if you're the parent of a child watching this. We're gonna we're gonna play this Aladdin level, the Cave of Wonders, which is probably like my favorite scene in the entire Aladdin movie. <laughs> oh jeez. Are there are there chicken parts in this level too? Why would there be? Oh my. Anyways, guys, welcome to the Cave of Wonders. We're Princess Jasmine, so let's get at it. it says build the scarab. Oh, so in building the scarab, it kind of unlocks the... When the scarab is flying over, it lets you move over, so... That's pretty cool. We need a key to get into that chest, so let's look around for a key before we go any further. In, uh, what you guys missed was I just played Phineas and Ferb again. And I unlocked the Dr. Doofenshmirtz costume, so you guys didn't really miss much. It was just me playing the same level again. That's uh, that's something I'd kind of like to steer you guys away from is the downloadable packs. I can't really speak for all of them, but at least the Phineas and Ferb one, all you got was that one little, you know, kind of half level. And if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna pay for something, it should at least be something that's worth what you pay for it. And I, I can't remember how much it costs exactly. Uh, all right, so Jasmine's now level two, so her little, her little staff is now uh, looks like probably one of her father's uh, little porcelain animals. Pop that right there. Oh, we need another piece. Hmm. Here's the other piece, but now we gotta wait for that guy to come back, otherwise we're never gonna get it. Okay. Ooh, falling down would not be good there, huh, guys? 
Alright. Uh-oh. But anyway, uh, the whole point of leveling up your character and collecting those stars is it makes your attacks more powerful. And it also gives you a cool little change of weaponry, which is nice. I'm trying to... Yeah. Like, I'm trying to figure out how you get to there. I don't think you can jump that. Let's see. No, it seems like way too far of a jump. Uncover the secrets in the sand. Okay, so we want to go upwards. So we gotta wait for this other guy to come back. And then when he turns around... acting super crazy right now. This guy's over here trying to build a defense barrier. We don't want that. We also don't want this guy to take the scarab piece. Maybe if we use whatever this is. Well, that was pretty handy. Oh, so that, that can only be lifted with this, so that's pretty neat that you have to use that lantern to keep that staying upwards. All right, last scarab piece. Let's see what else we can uncover. All that's left is to exit the level. But... One thing I'm a little uncertain of is why there are so many bombs in this level. It didn't seem like a bomb would ever be necessary or helpful, so why are they all over? There must be something we're missing, you guys. And I got a little bit of time in this episode, so why don't we look around a little bit? Oh, come on. I actually don't know if you can see it, but there's something right here. Wow. Just some coins. Maybe over here? More coins. More coins. Oh, we found, uh, we found one of the gems. So that's pretty cool that that happened. Someone keeps building stuff. I need to take them out. I'm like, I wonder if I hop down from up here, if I'll land on that... Like, how am I supposed to get up? Oh! I'm like, there are portals all over. It wasn't just in that one area. Hip. Woo! Oh. Falling off a lot, guys. Hmm. Like... That might be something, but I just don't know if it's worth it dragging it all the way back. Well, then there's something over here, too. Alright, at this point I'm just wasting coins. So guys, I'm going to wrap it up here, and in the next uh, episode we will move on to the next part of the Cave of Wonders. So, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. And, uh... 
As always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys!